Hey guys, um, this is a project I've been working on this weekend. Uh, it is basically a box that has a little switch on the top. And um, basically all it does is, when I turn it on, is when I flick the switch one way, an uh, arm comes out of the box and switches it back. So it's really, you know, just a really fun little thing to play with. If you see the switch. So it's just a really fun little gadget that I made. Uh, it didn't take me long. But in today's video, I just want to walk you through the basic mechanics that goes behind this box, how to build it, and hopefully you can build your own. If you join me, we can take a look on what's inside this box. Okay, so right now this box is switched off. But basically, the outside of this box is made out of poplar wood. So, and the cover of the box is made out of actually a binder. So I took a binder, like a three ring binder, and I cut this four inch by four inch piece from that. If we take a look on the inside, we have a DC motor, a battery pack, a switch, a robotic arm, and then underneath we have a switch and a LED light bulb. I'll include all the parts I used for this box in the description of the video as long as, as along with I'll include a wire schematic diagram so you guys could hopefully build your own. Basically what happens in this box is that when I switch this flip it activates the DC motor and the motor travels this way. It then hits the switch in the other direction, which reverses this, this motor and sends this motor back into its original spot. Um, many of you guys might be wondering why this battery is right here on top of the arm. This battery serves no other purpose other than pure weight, so I can have enough momentum to flick the switch back as the switch is kind of hard to switch, to flick. Um, these are the wires coming out of the motor, which I duct taped on the sides. Uh, this is a battery pack right here. This battery pack holds three AAA batteries, provides enough voltage for this thing to work. Again, this is the LED bulb. Uh, again, I'll include all the um, wire schematics and further pictures in the description. For the outside of the box, this is all poplar wood. This again is the binder cover, so I needed something lightweight that still looked like wood. I hot glued, the, I hot glued this box together and then I used duct tape for the hinge and then painted it over. So it looks like a complete nice kind of yellow box. I know the paint job isn't the great, but you know, I try my best. The box's dimensions I'll list right now. And um, that was basically it. That is the box. I'll now show you some build videos of me building the box and how I actually made this arm. So the first step in building this was obviously to build the frame of the box. Now this was quite easily. I already put the dimensions of the box for you. I basically cut that wood and I hot glued everything together. I suggest you put only the side pieces and one long piece and leave it that way until you put all the electronics in and then you go ahead and put all these other pieces on. That will allow for easier access inside the box. Anyways, the next step after that was making this arm. This arm has to move in a circular direction, hit the switch, and then successfully move back. How I went along doing that was I first took a compass and I traced a circular motion from an origin point around this point. And the distance from this point to the circle is the distance from the top of this box on the side to the bottom because the arm has to come out of the box and hit the switch. After I made this curve, I Again, set an origin point. This origin point is where the motor will be connected to. And then I made a wooden trace out that will be able to hit the switch. Next, I cut this out. And I went ahead and put on a piece of wood. 
traced it out and then saw that. Noticed that the arm did not have enough weight on it. So I went ahead and put a battery on top to add the extra weight. After you make the robotic arm, the project's basically finished. You just connect all the wires inside the box like so. And uh, you screw on the switch from the top. You connect your battery pack, hot glue it on the side. Uh, and that's about it. Then you test it. You can turn this on like so. If I can you know, switch it right here. And that's about it. It works. Put the lid on. It looks like a regular box, right? But you flick the switch. Nope. I just thought this was a really cool, fun weekend project. Um, it was quite easy. I just hope all you guys build it. See you in the next video.